Hey guys, welcome to the uh, shortwave radio channel. So you saw yesterday a video that I posted, which is, uh, I think it speaks for itself. You could see all the difference uh, when the um, solar eclipse happened with the signals fading in as the darkness path of the moon is moving across the area. And all the medium wave stations come in and um, then, of course, as the darkness path moves away and the ionosphere reconstructs uh, what happens in the daytime is medium wave gets absorbed and you see all the phase station fading out again back to a normal daytime listening uh, just very very amazing also one of the interesting aspects that you would see on the graph on the uh, on the waterfall was how as the sun approached and even though the East Coast, like New York, WCBS was not there yet. There were still a lot of peaks, so it would follow the path, and you would see it also on the uh, on the waterfall. It's kind of an interesting experiment. Uh, too bad, you know, I couldn't install anything to have it like really record the spectrum, so we could check each station. Um, when I so I went to a place, the which is Brassard for the eclipse, which is on the south shore of Montreal. Uh, once again, for those that don't know, Montreal is an island. Uh, for multiple reasons, I could have stayed here. There was an eclipse, total eclipse was here, but it was very short because I was very close to the edge. And I wanted to have, you know, it's a once in a lifetime thing. I wanted to have as much eclipse as possible. So there were several possibilities. Stay in the island of Montreal and go like in the old port. Uh, there was about a minute. Um, a lot of people were converging to Pac Jean Drapeau, which is an island just uh, in the uh, Saint Lawrence River. That that there was apparently like a hundred thousand people there. Uh, I didn't feel to be. I didn't want to be in the crowd at all. Um, so I had the idea a few weeks ago that uh, we have a new uh, train, an automated train now here in Montreal, which is the REM, which goes to the South Shore. And my nephew and a friend of mine had never taken it. And I said, yeah, it's a cool train. We're going to take it. And you know, at the same time, it's going to be like a almost tourist uh, kind of thing. So we'll take that train. We'll go to the end of the line at Brassard where there was absolutely nothing except a parking lot. Which was fine anyways. And um, we stayed there for the eclipse. And there the eclipse was two minutes and five seconds. So I went to a place where, you know, not too far. But that had a lot of, uh, a lot more time to the totality. I did not go there for radio purposes much. But I did bring along with me um, the... Um, XH data receiver. Uh, this is a, a small video that I made as the sun was um, getting to totality. Uh, actually, this was just after totality. So when uh, totality happened, um, you know, it wasn't time for radio for me. It was like, you know, we're enjoying the moment and it was just an amazing moment that I will never, ever forget for all of my life. Uh, that was just so amazing what we saw. But uh, we did have the uh, WCBS. I'm going to have you listen here to a little bit of the recording here. Seems like you're just seeing the sun come up or the sun's just getting ready to set. However, uh, one thing that we have all noticed up here... Is that so that small clip shows you WCBS New York coming in at 3, about 3.30 in the afternoon, which at this time of the year you know in the winter time it's sometimes possible because the days are very short and all and we can hear it a little bit but in april forget it nor usually we don't hear anything on the bands at that frequency on this uh in the mid-afternoon so i did do a quick just you know checking it out to try to 1030 wbz tried a few stations but um overall did not do a lot because my main enjoyment was to watch the eclipse uh, but it is interesting to note, you know, the changes was just so amazing. Um, a few other things about the eclipse itself, um, how the weather changed as the eclipse uh, drew near the the uh, the maximum. 
when we went into darkness, it became really noticeably much cooler. And the wind started blowing, which was interesting because there was really no wind. And then as the darkness was slowly getting more and more uh, prevalent, the wind started picking up. Temperatures went down. I had a little jacket. I said, wow, I'm actually cold. It was really a big difference in temperature. It was amazing. Of course, the colors, the colors of the surroundings is just so amazing. Uh, another cool thing about it was how as uh, totality hit, the um, the sky around you becomes so weird and looks like a sunset everywhere. Um, I took a small video here of what it looked like. This is uh, the sunset kind of all around as we are in the darkness and it's funny because it looks like clouds you know but it's not clouds it's really really in a surrounded in a circle of darkness so it was really really crazy um when it happened so um really memorable time and of course i saw some posts talking about radio um of uh some people uh checking out chu time signal 3330 that would have been something that uh, probably would have been interesting since it wasn't that far, Ottawa. Um, I would guess uh, CHU 3330 would have given us some difference in, in, in its propagation uh, due to the eclipse and the uh, darkness path moving along. So basically it was like an artificial uh, created nighttime during the mid, you know, middle of the afternoon. Uh, so it, it, you know, gave the ionosphere the properties of nighttime propagation for a short moment, just where we were. So it's pretty cool for that. Uh, I know a lot of people did some medium wave listening. Um, I hope if it was cloudy, because if it would have been cloudy, I would have dedicated my uh, my time in, in actually listening in to the medium wave band here and all. Um, I was actually thinking that if it were, were uh, would have been clouded out, I would possibly have done a small a live show and we would have tuned around the medium wave band uh, together and even a little bit of shortwave and see the differences and what would have been nice here is with all the radios could have been on different bands um, testing out you know what 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 changes are coming in but uh, overall, an amazing experience. I know a lot of you have experienced that also. Uh, this is something, like, like I said, it's once, once in a lifetime. And uh, even though I included a little bit of radio, um, you know, and I thought about the recording like 10 minutes before I left. I suddenly realized, I said, hey, if I just leave the SDR on and start the screen recorder, I'll leave it like that. And when I come back, I'll stop it. And I actually have 13 hours of the medium wave band recorded in that video um, with the listening centered on 880. So I wasn't sure if I would have wanted to post it for a simple reason that 90% of the video is static. Uh, but I thought maybe it could be interesting to post anyway. So I'll see if I post it. It's a really big video, 14 gigabytes, and it's... A full 13 hours so we don't have many of those 13 hour videos on my channel so i'll see i might post it and you know if you guys just want to jump to whatever part you want to see for the eclipse and all of that i think it could be interesting uh honestly so i'll probably be posting it today and uh see what uh, uh you can all just you know go through it um i came back late so you enjoyed that small portion with the eclipse and there is WCBS at the end because the last um, five hours, maybe, uh, WCBS is coming in and all the medium wave signals are there because it's nighttime before I stopped the video. So um, I guess I'll upload it and, and you guys could see uh, the, the, full, the full thing as you go through. Maybe you guys will notice something I haven't noticed or see something different that I haven't noticed either, so... I think it's a good, maybe a good idea to upload the full uh, 13 hours of uh, medium wave. 
So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.